Do you feel the pressure? Hey YouTube, this is Scott at Love for Crypto and welcome to another video about Bab. This is just going to be a cheeky little update about the progress report they, re they released recently, showing where the team's up to, what they're doing moving forward. They've got an interview and a meeting set up in Bahrain in the next few weeks, sometime in May. They're also flying over to Dubai after that, so... Exciting times, especially with the price moving so much. So we're going to have a little read through what they've had to say this week. And then we're going to move on and talk a little bit about the price movement and where it could potentially go in the next few weeks. This is exciting times. So let's dive straight into it. So here's a progress update. Another one in April. Catch up with our progress over the last two weeks. It's been an awesome fortnight since our last report. We've made significant progress in product, in product development and have also taken another important step towards securing a partnership with the Central Bank of Bahrain, CBB. Read on to find out what we've been up to. The Central Bank of Bahrain, following our meeting with the Economic Development Board, the EDB of Bahrain, we have confirmed a meeting with the Central Bank of Bahrain we will fly to Bahrain in early May, next few weeks, in order to meet with the officials there. We will bring you all the news about this in a future update, so stay tuned about that, guys. It could be some big news coming out of there. Might not be. Yeah, we need to stay a little bit conservative at, at times, but could be some excited news coming out of it, especially when you consider this next little bit. We'll also use the opportunity to meet up with other potential partners in the region. We have many backers in the UAE, so we'll host a meet-up in Dubai. Date and location to be confirmed, so watch this space. Italian Fintech Forum. Last week, our head of marketing, Anna, was invited to speak at the Italian Fintech Forum. Her speech focused on blockchain banking, learnings from our token sale. It was an excellent event with many I caliber speakers and it was a privilege to have Annie there presenting Bab. I've tried to find this online and I've, I've not been able to find the full thing so if anyone knows where this is this actual um, this Italian fintech forum and the chat with them all on stage and that can you just let us know in the comments uh, because like, like I say I'm usually pretty good at research and that and I just can't seem to find it the view on exchanges, we went over in another video. Um, if you want to check that boom card up there, just give it a click, go and watch that and come back to this if you like, or watch it after this. It's up to you. The product design survey, I'm not sure if you took part in this, but it was a really good survey asking some really good questions like what, what do you want most on the app? Is it for peer-to-peer -peer crypto exchange? Do you want it from crypto to fiat exchange? Do you want it to be a bank account with a sort code and account number? Do you want do you want this? Do you want that? It was really, really good survey. If you've, if you filled it out yourself, you'll know what I'm on about. If you didn't, don't worry. They got, they got a good, good bit of information as they say here. We received a fantastic response to our survey, which was designed to assess the wants and needs of our community. Over two thousand people took the survey. If you're one of them, we want to say a huge thank you. Your answers have given us some fantastic data which will help our product team to incorporate features into the app which our community will love. We are going to need you more and more as the product development process advances so watch this space. This, the team again just keeps showing why a lot of people love them so much. A lot of people have a lot of confidence in them and the project. It's, it's almost faultless in my opinion. CBDCs, which went over again in that like that last video of the exchanges in CBDCs. So go and have a look at that if you haven't seen it yet. The capacity to work with central banks to issue their own digital currencies, CBDCs, is one of the most innovative elements of the BAB project. It has huge potential to achieve deep financial inclusion. Rushed recently published a blog post about CBDCs and their role in achieving deep financial inclusion. If you're interested in this aspect of the project, you can read the blog post here. We read through that in um, in the last video. So again, if you want to just go back and have a little look at it, it is in the description of that. So we, we, we got you back. 
we will do regular bab updates i'm just what i drop my opinion on it basically as as bab drop an update i'll drop an update as the price moves we'll speak a little bit about price and i think kurt's planning a bab technical analysis soon enough so stay tuned for that what's next regards to crypto marketing crypto marketing is changing as fast as the markets and we all know how fast they can change our head of marketing, Anna, recently wrote about her experience with crypto marketing, how the recent developments will affect Bab's marketing plans and her predictions for future market, marketing in this space. You can read her blog post about crypto marketing here. I will drop that in the description. So the roadmap, banking-wise, there's two tabs here. Remember that banking-wise, we'll go to 2019. Apply for banking license in the EU. Well, we now know that's happening in parallel with the UK license towards the end of this year or mid mid summer. It's going to be they're in the process of, of applying in parallel already. So that's a, that's been brought up from 2019. Form a strategic partnership with a central bank in the MENA region. Q3 2019. Middle East, North Africa, MENA. If you was if you was wondering what that meant, it means a Middle East and a North Africa region, um, around Saudi Arabia, Dubai, um, Abu Dhabi, Bahrain, even Iran, Iraq, all that area there, North Africa, Egypt. Yeah. So that's MENA region. 2019 Q Q3. They hope to have a partnership. With a central bank, just one, that's all that means. They've got a meeting with it already. I mean, we're in 2018, in April, and they're going over to Bahrain next week to talk about that and already talking to other to other partners. Or, well, they put it backers, didn't they? Potential partners, current backers. So they're going to speak to them. There's, this is extremely, extremely positive news. Q4 2019 launched Bab in the, the MENA region. It, it wouldn't surprise me if, if, if all this is happening sooner than a lot of people thought they would, it would. Just like the price is moving a, a lot faster than some people thought it would. And we're going to go on the price now. So the price, if we do a little cheeky refresh. So 2747 up 3.4% on the 24 hour. It's high. It had a high of um, just over 0.3 of a cent. So it's around here. Three oh seven five. Uh, point three of a cent. We actually had it on Instagram at point three three oh four eight. And make sure you check our Instagram out if you've not checked it out already. We do have. Do have a multitude of, of posts on there. We've got the Bab Lambo. Who's buying one of them? If they get rich on Bab. <laughs> but yeah, let's get back to the price. It hit a peak of 0.3 of a cent. And it's approaching it again now. Now it keeps having some pretty decent little runs towards the end of the week. It's just like XRP. And then it has a pullback at the start of the week. And then it, it gets running again. And then by Thursday, Friday, we're, we're looking good. I can see this happening for every week for the foreseeable future. At least for the next the next few weeks. And then like we say, in, in May, when they get back from Bahrain and Dubai, God knows what information they're bringing back with them. What announcements they're going to have to make. If they can start making announcements about partnerships with Middle Eastern Central Banks or North African Central Banks, then you're going to see a lot more movement in the price. This is not on a lot of exchanges. It's still only on the four exchanges. The volume has increased dramatically. It's, it's over 3 million in 24-hour volume most of the time. Now, it does dip on its pullbacks. But it's 39 million market cap. It's going to be over 40 million soon. And I'm guessing it's not going to be long till it stays over 40 million and just keeps climbing. This is a project that has gone under the radar for quite a while, just like Ripple XRP did. Now, we've got a lot of XRP fans on the channel. 
I feel if you're an XRP fan, you must have at least a little interest in this. It's this could be massive. XRP, I'm at the point where it's just it's going to be massive, and it we know it's got too many partnerships. Too, it's already working. Santander using it, MoneyGram, Western Union, God knows who else testing it. You know, it's it's coming. XRP and it's constantly growing. Well, Bab's just a baby, but so was XRP twelve months ago. Never forget that this technology and these projects, these move faster than anyone ever expected. I think. So yeah, so it's extremely exciting times. Going to move on now, and we're just going to end on let you know what the actual team's up to. They've they've, they've started a vlog. We we read through the blogs basically, and we put our little opinion on it and share how I feel. But if we go to the Twitter, they've actually started a video vlog now, um, where you can just play the video and, and, and just say. What are we taking over? YouTube channel. Okay. <laughs> There you go. So they are putting updates on there. We we are doing something new. We'll give it. A and he's and David. Pause it. So I'm not not got it over. We're trying something new. We've been blogging our updates, but for those of you who like to watch instead of read, here's our April vlog, aka David and Annie's YouTube takeover. Now. I met David and the Annies at the party to say David is the YouTube content creator so I'm really interested where they take this and how loose they're going to be with it. We all know the team's extremely transparent and they let us know all the updates they can possibly give us. They let us know all the information they can possibly give us. Again, as we ripple, they have to remain a little bit tight-lipped about it at some, t some points. But awesome team, awesome vision. Check them out. So guys, that's about it for today. Um, there's not much more information been released recently, but with that Bahrain meeting and um, the Dubai trip coming up, the price moving so much, the volume can constantly rising, the market cap constantly rising. We have small pullbacks, but then we're gone again. This is extremely excited times. I'm extremely excited to be a part of it. Don't forget, we're also giving away one of the Backs to the Future t-shirts. If you want one of them and you want to take part in the first giveaway, make sure you comment on this video. In a couple of days, I'll go through all the comments. I'll comment myself saying that it's now been locked off, so we'll get a time and date. Any amount of comments. Go through them, pick a random one with a number generator, and then they will receive a free t-shirt if they want one. I then... Announce the winner in the next video. All they'll have to do is send an email of the size and the address. And it'll get sent back to the future. Stay tuned for more updates. Feel free to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram or Steam it. Post as much as we can when we can. Still a little busy really but there's a little bit of different information on each, each platform. Some of it does overlap but you can expect that. Um, thanks for watching guys as always love you and love crypto cheers see you later